Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Now, if you can hear any noise in the background, that's Wayne out the back splitting logs for the, fly, uh, for the fire. And any scratching noise you might hear is that Lacey dog. She's usually really good when I'm recording and just sits at my feet, but not today. Anyway, let's get going. I will confess to being a bit of a brand snob for the things that matter to me. And I struggled a little when Aldi first opened and then again when Costco opened because I didn't recognise the brands. They were foreign to me. But when you're shopping on a tight budget, you can't afford to not try something to find out if it's going to meet up to your standards and your expectations and save you some money. Because let's face it, sugar is sugar, flour is flour, butter is butter, eggs are eggs. For these basics, I haven't noticed a difference in anything but the price. And yes, I know there are people out there who are going to go, no, organic eggs or field eggs or whatever eggs are different to other eggs. When you're on a budget, eggs are eggs. When you're on a budget, butter is butter. Check the ingredients. Butter is butter. It should have cream and salt. That's all it should have in it. Anyway, try it. That's my message. Try it. If you don't like the product, you don't have to keep on buying it. But if Generic white vinegar is $1.40 for two litres and the brand name is $4.10 for two litres. You would be nuts to be paying the extra $2.70 just for a fancier name on the bottle. Yes, brand matters sometimes. I have a brand of tea that I will not budge on. I've tried others and I don't like them. And frankly, life is just too short to drink lousy tea and be miserable. So I stock up when it's on sale and tea has quite a few sheets in my price book. I never pay full price for it. And every morning as I take that first sip, sip and smile, I know I have my favourite brew at the lowest possible price. It is perfectly okay to have a couple of favourite brands that you stick with. Savvy cheapskaters know how to get them at rock bottom prices. But for everything else, don't be brand loyal. Keep an open mind when it comes to brands and you will save money. Before I go, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and likers that really helps too please feel free to leave a comment i read them all and i do my best to answer each one or leave a reaction to each one especially if there is a question it helps youtube grow but more importantly it helps our channel grow and it helps our channel to be recognized more easily and the more easy it is to find us the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it is perfectly possible, even in this crazy world we live in right now. Happy cheapskating, everyone, and I'll be back tomorrow with another Gorilla Grocery Shopping Tactic.